Okay, so wow, we've had a ton of fun here today. So let's just pull our uh, last meal together. I heard my Instant Pot go just a couple of minutes ago. So that means that what it's doing is the time of pressurization is over, but now it's gonna start to um, release, slowly release the steam and it will come to, um, it will NP, which is a, oh, NR, which is a natural release. It will start to release the pressure. We'll probably take it off if it's not done by the time we get there. But what's really interesting about this um, meal, and you know, as you saw, I wasn't really cooking anything but it's about putting it all together and here's where we put it together and this is the really unique part that a lot of people don't think that cooking this way or eating this way is going to be tasty but it's so tasty and you could use it to many applications but really this is fantastic so this is a Portuguese dish, and I mean, that's my only point of reference for it. Maybe other cultures do it as well. But um, what you do is you start with your plate. So I have two plates, but uh, let's just start with one. So what you're gonna do is get a really nice olive oil. Um, I work with lots of different olive oils, so whatever you prefer that has really good flavor, you're gonna put some olive oil on your plate there. You don't want to cover the entire plate, but you do want to give it a good coating. So we've got some really great quality. Oh, I can just smell when it's got that nice peppery grassy smell is you've got a really beautiful olive oil. Now what some Port Portuguese folks like to do, and I love it as well, but I, I actually didn't here. We can quickly do one is uh, put fresh garlic on the plate. Now, I used to love that. I still like it, but my tummy doesn't always like a lot of fresh garlic. So um, I limit it, but I'll show you what we do. Although I love the flavors, I used to be able to really build up a lot of fresh garlic. So I've just got a fresh garlic clove that I always have sort of handy near my stove. We're just gonna give it a quick little just shave a little bit of the garlic off so it's not too chunky, but still nice and whole. Just gonna do about a half of a garlic there. So you can see that's already on my plate with my olive oil. Now, when I said get your favorite seasonings, I really meant it because everybody likes a different flavor profile. For me, I'm just hooked on this stuff. I know I told you last time, or I hope I told you last time, like I do not represent any of these companies that I'm working with. I'm showing you what I really love in my kitchen. This Pampered Chef Sweet Basil Rub, it's the bomb. It's the bomb.com. It's so good. It is just like super, hang on a minute. Yeah. It's sweet basil, it's garlic. I love it. So I'm gonna shake some of this on my plate. And typically what we do is we prepare our plate ahead of time so that the flavors can pull together. I'm gonna to use, not this, this is the Sunset Gourmet Southwest Gourmet Seasoning. Love it. It's nice because it's got that nice Mexican taste, but it's not overly hot, which I don't necessarily want, but I want that sort of sweet pepper, uh, tomato taste. And then I'm gonna add just a wee bit. No, I don't need to, it doesn't have the right, no. So go with your nose, that's usually how I operate, and um, put things together. So now what you're gonna do is just get your olive oil and start smooshing it all around because now you're gonna hydrate those seasonings, which is what you want. The garlic is in there, so it's all getting nice and savory because now you know what's gonna happen, right? We are going to take our fish and our vegetables from the Instant Pot and place them on top of this beautiful mixture. And I know you might be thinking like, that doesn't really sound very good, but it's delicious. Think about how often we use some sauces or mayonnaise or a salad dressing or a gravy or a cheese sauce. Sometimes you want something on there olive oil is fantastic. 
Um, the flavors will be delicious. I'm looking for the last step. If you like red wine and if you have red wine around, if you don't like it or don't want it, that's okay. But just having a little bit of, this is some homemade wine my husband made. Just a little bit on your plate. Now your plate looks pretty. It's got some good color. That uh, wine is sort of finding its way around through the olive oil because the olive oil is just like, ooh, don't come here. We don't like you. But this together is fantastic. I'm not going to swoosh around the uh, red wine. I'm just going to let it find its way. Now I'm going to hop over and you're going to watch me. I'm just going to go and check on the... Um, on the Instant Pot. So just keep an eye out for a sec, okay? So it's still pressurized. So I'm just gonna take the pressure off. So it's doing a uh, quick release, a QR, which is just, you know, Instant Pot terms. And uh, so I'm quickly releasing the pressure. All it is is there's a steam valve at the, the top of the lid and you just need to change the position of the lid. I was very nervous about this in the beginning and have memories about, you know, with my parents with the old crock pot and why run the cold water? And, you know, there were so many reasons why I thought a crock pot was like super dangerous. Things do happen, but it's usually, if often it is operator initiated. So as long as you respect the Instant Pot, it will work for you. And I've taught a lot of people over the years how to use the Instant Pot safely. So I can hear, I'll show you actually, just so that you get what I'm talking about. So what it is is this valve, see that valve right there? That valve will go down in a second as the pressure all the steam gets out of the Instant Pot. You'll see it pop down. Done. So now we know that it's done. I can safely open the lid. Now, I am not gonna open that lid up and just go poop, pull. I'm going to turn it, as I said last week, give it just a pause, and then I'm going to open it up. So bear with me a sec. I'm going to get a couple of things for my little hands so I don't burn them. As I'm going to bring the pot over to you so you can see it over there. So I'm going to open up the Instant Pot, a turn. It tells me with that noise that it's ready to be opened. I've given it a little pause and oh, it looks fabulous. So I'm just gonna leave the lid up there. I'm gonna bring this over to show you how it looks. It's fantastic. Actually, hang on, I'm gonna really just wanna show you here because it's hard to believe when you put all these vegetables together that you're gonna come up with this amazing meal, but it's, it's fabulous. Have a look. You can see that the codfish is nice and flaky. You can see that the onions have cooked up. The eggs are all done. Everything's cooked. Here's the best part. Look how easy this dinner is. You can literally put a pot on the table, or not upon the table, you can put a nice big serving platter, spoon these items out carefully, and put them onto a serving platter so people can take their own. Now, as we're probably having Christmas in our own social bubble, that will not be difficult to do this year, um, to share because these are people in our own social bubble, but if it's better, just, you know, prepare everyone's plate. What seasonings do you like? Get their plate ready. This is what I love now. Let me just hit this. See this color? That's Southwest Gourmet. It just makes me salivate. That Southwest Gourmet has gotten into the oil and given it a beautiful sort of rusty color. And those flavors, that says to me, the flavors are ready for you to eat. So I've just got a small little spatula here. Just very carefully, I'm gonna take out the eggs. So I'll put the eggs here in a bowl. 
of which I will take them over and peel them. Then I want to show you how beautiful this is on the plate. So here's a nice gorgeous piece of codfish. I'm going to pop it here. Put some carrots. Oh yeah. This is a healthy dinner. It's a delicious dinner. You can see things are not soppy wet. You know how sometimes that just happens. The only thing that I can see that's broken apart a little bit because the consistency of it is a bit different is the sweet potato. But other than that, looks fantastic. Now, how is that? It looks great. We've got our greens in there. I'm gonna add one more thing. Hang on a minute. Let me see, let me see. Can I quickly find it? I just realized that I have something else that would be perfect on this plate. Come on. I know you're in here. I know. Oh, I found it. Hang on. Thanks for waiting. I just realized, you know what's delicious with this meal? Is some black olives. I've got a Kalamata olive um, from Acropolis, and it's an organic Kalamata olive tapenade. Thank you so much to Dan from the Oliva Market here in Burford. He is bringing in some amazing products and said, Jan, you gotta try this, so thank you, Dan. So what I'm gonna do, because a nice black olive is gonna go delicious on this plate, is I'm just gonna take a small spoonful and put it on the side. Dinner is done. As I said, this is a recipe that I, um, you know, I was a bit skeptical about in the beginning, but uh, it's delicious. My plate is seasoned, it's oiled. There's a nice little bit of red wine there. It's a nice Shiraz wine my husband made. We've got our codfish, we've got our tapenade. Our dinner is ready to serve. So hang on a minute. I'm gonna take off my smock so that I can sit down and eat my dinner with you. I'm gonna take off my smock because we wouldn't have company over and then we wouldn't have company over and then just go to the table with our smock on. We would take a minute, zhuzh ourselves up, and then we'd go to the din to the table with our absolutely delicious dinner. How does that look? Well, Skyline Living, I think it's almost time for a toast, a celebration toast. But first, we have to make a yummy sangria so we can all toast for some holiday cheer. Well, dinner served. I think I'm going to go and eat, but hang on a minute because I'll see you in a few minutes and we'll do a nice holiday toast together and celebrate. Good cheer, good food, and wellness for all of you. Okay, see you in a minute.